Hey, hello there. I think I lost a little bit of weight. I have to talk about this because it's something like a little bit of fanatic. Obviously, you can see that my setup is not the best. I'm still making noise outside and. Yeah. So this is something I needed to address because obviously this pertains to the future of the channel and something that I wanted to talk for a little while. Um, I'm gonna keep clear. Uh, last year, around this time, this is something that I've been thinking. Since I moved here to Germany, it's not been the most and the smoothest transition, especially economically wise. After my job working for the company Superdrive that they treat me super well. It is, it's in the name, it's Superdrive. So Superdrive, super well. I got some myself in some money and that was the money that I used to come down here and that money now is completely gone. I got a little bit cocky with the job wise and I thought I was going to get a job much easier. I've been applying to McDonald's, I've been applying to places saying, oh yeah, I think I can get a job. Not without German. And this is something that I already uh, predicted, not even today, like way long ago. Even before I take my choice to move to London, I knew this was going to happen. And it's gonna be three months already, me living here in this place. And I have no income. I'm broke. You say, yeah, sell your stuff, whatever, but one, I don't really want to sell my stuff because first, I don't have a lot of stuff that it will be collectible, like it will then sell that easily. It's not gonna sell in a week, which is precisely kind of the time that I have to pay at my rent. Uh, I want to talk around why the situation I already addressed it in the li in the video when I left London. And now I'm gonna put you more into context, okay? That what has been happening this year especially after you know not live streaming not doing a lot of stuff most of you were in the dark some of them they knew and i asked them to be respectful and not say anything but after i left that place in london i pretty much um, stayed homeless except that time but i cannot talk about that for legal reasons a lot of situations happened um, that has been backstabbing from people that i thought were friends but a lot of support also from my friend group and i cannot be more Thankful to them. That kind of thing, kind of like, it treated me super well, man. They helped me so much. Emotionally or not economically, because I always the benefits in, in London, so I was not, like, penniless. That whole situation made me think, made me want to reconsider my life, my life in London. And that's one of the reasons why I moved here. And as soon as I got the super dry job, and yeah, I was so homeless. I, I spent so so many months sleeping in a sofa with uh, two very generous like people, an old couple, they left me in their place and let me... I, I didn't have a key, I didn't have anything. I just slept on that sofa for months, basically. I had to come down early and um, I couldn't do barely anything. It was not easy at all. And that uh, drives it to today. Um, why I'm making this video? Because I don't want to face that situ kind of situation anymore. I don't want to be depending on others. Um, luckily, I never had to ask for money because I, my, I am very good with my finances and everything. I really need to get money. I really need to get a job. But I don't want to ask you people for money. That's out of the question. This is my hobby. This is what I do to show off my skills. But there is a point where you need help. And now I need help. Now how I need help? If you know anyone around the Dusseldorf area or any kind of job that I can do remotely, I really need this. I really need to find a job. I really need to build up my life again because I don't want to, to be thrown away so soon. Especially after I'm getting my S together. If you want to call it like that because there is so many things that they are going through my head right now and i didn't want to make this video but here i am because i'm desperate i it's gonna be nine or ten more days until i need to pay the rent and today i have a job interview it's the only place that they actually call me for an interview because other places i say no i don't speak german oh well, sorry we are not looking for people like you they he just hung up and there was even one guy that he said oh that's not a problem bye they had me and i understand that that's the type of way that people are here so it's completely fine if there is any way or any sort of information that you can help me out and i've been doing it i think why don't you go to to like a uh, pubs 
bars, whatever. What did you think I've been doing? The other day I went to a pub, I gave them my number and they haven't answered yet. The, and another one I went with a CV and they haven't answered yet. I've even applied for cleaning jobs and even this one, like kitchen porter jobs here. And they don't want me. You know how frustrating is that? And they're not even in the lowest tier. Or the freaking lowest, it could be a lowest, obviously, even lower than that. But I'm trying to get a respectable life. And it's not the first time I have to start by just being a kitchen potter dishwasher. If people are not familiar with that, they are the dishwashers. Probably that's something that I'm gonna do. I, I might even fail this interview. And it gets me scared. And I try to go to the job center here as well. And I need some paperwork from the UK to verify that I've been working over there because they can actually monetarily help me. And just, just still waiting for those papers. But those papers are gonna take up at least five more weeks. Maybe the situation changes next week. I don't know. I hope that today the job interview goes well and at least I can get a meet some degree of money and that's why i've been not updating my youtube channel so frequently and that's why i a lot of interest into editing my video that's why when i recording and after i recording they are taking two weeks because i get to the editing software i open it i am not in the mood i immediately just drop it off yeah i have some good people that i met here as well but that doesn't go all the way and i need to keep pushing it you can you can definitely definitely go through the this bump in the road i want to settle down here i want to improve my life i don't want to get back to the street okay and whatever you think about me whatever perception about me or what i do or what i did in the past that you have right now it's fine because right now i'm doing the thing that most no one should do and it's a, posting themselves on the internet and this is how desperate I am I'm gonna try to send more CVs because whenever even McDonald's and Burger King don't want you I try to get into Amazon warehouses or stuff like that I don't know man something there must be something I can do for myself sorry but I try to be positive all the time okay just whoever watches this I thank you for your time to listen to my words. I hope that the situation gets sorted within this week. At least I can say I secure a job and now I have an income to pay at least the rent. Okay, you know what? Guess what? This is something that is love about Germany. I want to show you. Oh, Amera, just one second. You see these bags? They are filled with bottles, cans and everything. This is how I am paying my food. Because I pick them up from the garbage sometimes even if you are saying what about you eating here this is how i eat and then i go to the supermarket and I just buy food that's my only source of income right now i doesn't make enough because i don't i'm not literally 24 hours out there searching for cans stuff like that because there is so many people doing it and from time to time yeah i do it and i get back and i get a couple of cans and boom then then i need to go to the supermarket now to trade those see how much money I will i make out of that i can definitely eat if i keep doing that if i know how to balance my my diet i've been avoiding snacks you know all of that so don't worry i've been avoiding even fizzy drinks i don't take a lot of them anyway so i just go with water this is filled with water, okay? <laughs> that was the last thing I wanted to say, okay? Just thank you. Thank you for, for listening to me. And if you have any information or anything like that that uh, might help me out to find a job, please join my Discord server, PM me on Steam, DM me on Instagram, send me a Twitter. I don't care. Put a comment here. But anything that you think that would be useful for me, I would appreciate it, okay? Anyways, take it, people. And now I will have to edit this. <laughs> Bye-bye, I will do it, okay? Bye.